Hello and welcome back to logarithms. Like I said, you can't run away from exponential functions in logarithms. So I also talk about fixing the base. So maybe for this example, we'll look at base two, right? Base two. So uh, I really, really liked two to the power or something, right? Hashtag binary for life, yo. So if I want to come up with gang signs for binary, I can only use two fingers. So we can't really get very creative with in, you know binary for life right okay so right these are exponential functions right 2 to the power 0 is 1 2 to the power two, uh, 1 is 2 so on and so forth right this one I think is quite easy even if you don't really have a solid understanding of exponential functions okay so uh, we can think of it this way uh, we go from the left to the right yeah so when I substitute say 0 into base 2 I get the answer one. When I substitute the answer, uh, I substitute one, I get answer two. Right, so it goes this way, right? So this, the power of two will give me four, the power of three will give me eight, the power of four will give me 16. Can we go the other way around? Can we go backwards? If I gave you say two to the power of something, it's equals to 48. Would you be able to tell me what it is? Right, and that is the question logarithms is designed to answer okay that is all there is to logarithms if you fix the base if you can only change two things right then the logarithms is the inverse of the exponential function so can you see that really 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 okay i can't stress this enough you really really need to know your exponential functions well okay so another way to visualize this is let's take a look at a number line let's look at the number line Okay, so I've drawn out a nice, num it's not really that nice, uh, number line over here from 0 all the way to 70 because I wanted to have 2 to the power of 6, 64, right? So I kind of like just roughly place the numbers where I think they should be, right? It's not that accurate, huh? but okay. So you can see a lot of clustering uh, for lower powers of base 2. 2 to the power 0 is 1, 2 to the power 1 is 2. They all kind of clustered around here, okay? Clustered around here. But as you zoom out, you realize that, hey, uh, the numbers are getting further and further apart. So like I said, what logarithms is designed to answer is this. If I'm looking at, say, 32 and 64, look, look at the gap between 32 and 64, right? 1 is 2 to the power 5, 1 is 2 to the power 6. What if I want something in the middle, like 48? Say, where's 48? Um, roughly around here okay then 48 is 2 to the power of what that is basically logarithms right because let me show you how to ask this question in logarithms right we write it this way we say log base 2 remember we, we kind of like base 2 binary for life right base 2 and then if i want 48 what is the power right what is the exponent then you realize that hey the logarithmic function returns or actually gives the results which is an exponent right uh, or, or power okay so this thing over here the answer to a logarithmic function is actually the exponent okay and that is the very very key concept i want you to have before we move into the practice questions